what is going on guys? Uh, thanks for clicking the video. I hope you enjoyed the last uh, few videos. It wasn't really uh, that training focused, but this video, fortunately for some of you who want to see it, is going to be strictly training focused, like 80% training with voiceovers, with some live clips, kind of old school style how I used to do it. So stay tuned if you're interested and let's get right to the footage. Sunday's upper body accessory day, Monday pulling and Wednesday heavy pressing. Let's get it. What's going on guys? Um, worked up to 100 pounds to start off my workout. Admittedly, not the range of motion I like. Uh, kind of using a little bit too much overall uh, power from the shoulders, but here you can see what I'm at with the 100s right now on a Sunday upper body sesh. And I was able to push 225 on close grip, which totally random that I wanted to do that. I just felt right uh, in that close grip position. Um, I worked out Sunday because uh, Friday night I ended up going out and staying out late. So I figured what's the point of going in on Saturday on little sleep and not proper nutrition. I'd be better off uh, waiting till Sunday. So I did pull back on whatever I needed to pull back on so I could train the next day. But Monday was just deadlift volume and just leg accessory work pretty much. So that's why you see me here going relatively heavy and not being worried about it. If it was like a max deadlift day on Monday, I would have chilled and just done a little bit of volume, 80%, 70% of the weights I used here. But rowing felt good in all ways. I'm gonna show you guys this uh, shoulder raise set. So yeah, I just wanted you guys to see the technique I use on shoulder raises. I don't twist out the pinkies like bodybuilders, some bodybuilders say. I like to stand normally in a neutral position and just open up, kind of like almost you're gonna have your hands facing like that. There you can see it, not like this. So they're each their own, but I don't see it, um, a good, I don't see it as a good idea to internally rotate your shoulder and expose it. So I just open, kind of like I'm flapping my wings, not rotating in. Not that I have wings either, but. Um, the rows felt good, 225 felt good, I just stayed tight in a close grip position and the dumbbell rows with hundreds felt good, the lat is healing, it was 95% for weeks, now it's like 98%. I just get a little tingling sensation randomly, but right now it's feeling like 100%, so fingers crossed, I just have to train smart and uh, that was really it, good upper body sesh, definitely got some arms in and this is something I haven't done in months because I get some tendonitis here, but getting back to it starting light and pretty good chill. That's a morning right there. Bright and sunny, 8 a.m. Get you guys here. So back on these early morning workouts. It's not too early morning, but I was up around seven to get some protes in. Now we're heading to the gym. Let's get driving, I'll talk to you guys in a sec. Popping in Monday morning, got my first classes today. A little bit of calculus and organic chemistry too. The two main ones I'm taking, the hardest ones. But Monday, back on the program. I actually went in this weekend to get whatever I wanted to get in volume wise. And after hitting a kind of a heavy set of incline dumbbell, a really heavy set, I decided to push two plates. So if you guys saw that, it's probably the heaviest I've benched in forever. So maybe I'll keep the close grip benching in a little bit because had no pain in my pecs. So all good. But today we're just getting in a lower body session, mostly a little bit of back. Monday we pull deadlifts, hit a little bit of front squats, just uh, low to medium weight, total control, pure volume stuff. Get a lot of back work in and yeah, maybe some arms, but just keep trucking and see how this week goes. I think we're gonna bench heavy in a couple days. So I kind of primed myself this weekend by hitting those two plates. But anyways, 
We'll get through these deadlifts, get warmed up. I'm gonna try to do this workout in 70 to 90 minutes in and out so I can go home and not rush. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the workout and I'll catch you guys whenever. Just getting the vlogging in because this week's gonna be a lot different than the past few, so let's get it done. Oh, poor school bus, you're cashed. You're so cashed. And the semester has begun. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm gonna be in the gym around 8 a.m., out of the gym around 10 a.m., in class at 11 a.m. So, uh, yeah. Should be fun, looking forward to it. I like working hard, uh, especially after having a little bit of time off in between summer and fall sessions. I feel best when I'm kind of grinding and uh, just putting in work for what I want to do. So this Monday, like I said on Sunday, I went pretty high volume and heavy weight because this was just 315 for a bunch of sets of two. And then I'll show you this wide grip, snatch grip, uh, two inch block pull for 20 reps, 205 or 215. And after the deads went into front squats. Um, for some reason it was really easy for me to go as deep as I wanted this day and uh, I think the form felt better than it looks here. So something about, maybe it's what I'm wearing, I don't know, but uh, something about it felt awkward. Not my best uh, front squatting performance, but uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Not concerned with progressing my leg pressing like my squats. I'm concerned with getting better at doing them. So here you can see, I'm sure all you guys, uh, form police, are gonna tell me this is what my back squat should look like. And I know you guys always criticize my back squat like it's a good morning, and I understand that. But for me to, to front, to, for me to do a back squat and have it look like my front squat feels physically impossible. I try very, very hard, but as soon as I have more than like 90 pounds on my back, I cannot generate any torque to force my back upright in that position. So could be me, could be that I suck at squatting, could be that I don't want to learn, I don't know honestly. Um, but my front squat looks like a back squat and then my back squat looks like a good morning and it's just, it is what it is. Um, I wish I could change it, you know, I try, but we'll see. I obviously understand where you guys are coming from and you guys are probably correct. I'm probably the one doing it not that correctly, <clears throat> but I'm trying and I'm not just gonna obey people on YouTube and fuck myself up because um, I can't do it. So I don't wanna get hurt forcing the issue, but I need to look into it more and I've been looking into it for a long time, but um, unfortunately I don't have video footage of me squatting five years ago when I was doing 315. Like I could walk into the gym, do a plate, do two plates, do three plates when I was 21 and I would feel amazing. And I think the form may have been good morning like that. I don't really know, but um, yeah, just showing you guys the highlights here of my top sets. Did some lunges, did some back extensions, did 100 reps of leg curls with very little weight, but my hamstrings were pumped as hell. So again, um, there's really no uh, specific method to my madness when it comes to this type of programming. But once every few weeks, I try to go close to a gym max or you know 90% of a gym max. Once every few weeks, I like to throw in for certain muscle groups crazy high repetitions. And other than that, I like to work between 60 to 80% with varying rep ranges. So that's pretty much it. I'll let you guys watch the rest of the workout. Monday, deads, legs, a little bit of back, a little bit of calves, a little bit of abs, hard ass training. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you for Wednesday morning's workout a little later. Enjoy. Volcano action. All right, guys, early morning, just like Monday. Let's take down these proats. Try to bench something heavy today. Be the alarm.
filming and always making all right chilling on the couch now I figure we're all friends here but that was 255 for a double did not feel very good uh, I think my grip uh, was too wide because my shoulder felt like it was getting torqued for no reason and right here were two down sets with 165 and this is close grip so looks almost kind of like a normal bench so maybe I need to kind of switch up my grip but when you feel pain adjust your grip and always watch yourself and record your heavy sets So pushed as hard as I could on those 15 uh, reps of close grip. Anytime I lowered the weight, I just pushed as hard as I could. And that was it for the chest training. Did a few sets here on lat pull down, full range of motion, not cheating. And of course, some more triceps. So trying to hit arms every single workout, or at least Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So arms are hit three times a week. Friday when I go in and squat and do legs, usually not gonna hit any arms unless I feel up to it, but I should probably work on other things, uh, mobility, uh, you know unique exercises or balancing and making sure I hit all muscles from all angles and not just doing only compounds so arms are a priority but I'm not gonna sacrifice my progress just because I want to hit a couple sets of arms so full range of press shoulder up uh, full range of motion shoulder press full range of motion uh, shrugs with 275 everything was you know three ish sets got in and out and uh, was able to do this workout in about 90 minutes as well so uh, feeling really good overall, getting arm volume in, sticking with my compounds. We should see uh, how squats, we will see how squats go on Friday. Uh, always worry for squat day. Just uh, put pressure on myself because I want to improve, but I also need to train smart. And as you guys know, training hard is easy for a lot of us because we have a passion for that feeling. But training smart is the challenge because we're not as smart as we think we are and we let our emotions get the best of us. We can't control how we feel always, so sometimes going in with a plan helps you because if you train instinctively, sometimes your instincts aren't always right or you're, you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't want to get philosophical, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but you guys know what I mean. Having set plans every single time you go to the gym gets boring. Having no plan, I think, is uh, not optimal, so find your balance, train hard, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching and sticking around. Hit the like button if you did. Peace. Hi guys, 10 a.m. Time for school. Good try. Two more sets. Alright guys, same thing as we had at 7 a.m. Proats going down, and I'm getting my ass to school. That's it. Good ass push workout. Didn't go too heavy, but heavy enough. Let's get it. What's going on, guys? Just got home from campus. Little meal action. Check this out. You guys aware? What? Up at 7, getting my first meal in. It was just 420. 421. Oh, shit. But yeah, that's what my Monday, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays look like, which are training days. So. Get my first meal in around 7 or 6.30, head to the gym, head to class, and I'll usually get home between 4.30ish and 6. My teacher let us out early today for some reason, but on Fridays I have a class from 5 till 3 hour lecture, I don't know. But yeah, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are long days. Still getting the training in. Shoutouts to everyone who signed up uh, for online coaching. Thank you very much. Spaces are filling up, but we're good to go. Riley and Garrett, I think you guys signed up today so far. But yeah, edited the uh, Q&A video at school, so if you guys saw that, I hope you liked it. I hope you commented if you want more. 
I'll be bringing you guys more shortly. But yeah, nice and tired. Gonna get that video uploaded later. But I'm gonna have a cat nap first. You mad? Who's mad? Who mad though? That matching. Say, say hi, Brita. Say something. Say something. Say something. Say something. Yeah. Like a fox. You look like a fox. Alright guys, I'm napping out. 